a question for you. Is this E? Ta-da! It's hard to tell, isn't it? But you do know that I am called E Predator. You do know that you can find out anything about me if you search on the interwebs for me. And you do know that this is probably my voice. Now, it could be somebody else has got hold of my Xbox, has logged in as me, and has decided to use this avatar to make this video on Avatar Connect. But they probably haven't. And the sort of things that they're bothering to say, they probably wouldn't bother saying. So they'd say something completely different. So you do know this is me. If you've never met me before, never heard me before, never seen me on a show before, never talked to me, never been to a conference, never played a game with me, then you don't really need to know anything more about me when we interact in this sort of environment. And maybe if we met on the street, you might need to know a bit more. If we met in a pub, you might need to know a bit more. But here, my representation, my avatar, my name, maybe my voice and gestures, and the things that I choose to tell you from now on are the important things. If you need to know my history, you can look me up. But are you going to bother? I don't know. Now, for some reason, some companies seem to be treating our online presences as an exact replica of our physical lives. Well, yes, you can do that. But this isn't a binary decision. You don't choose to just be one person and only one person. And if you choose a persona or you choose a way to play a game or interact with a service or you choose a way to write or act or behave, that doesn't necessarily have to be exactly tied back to your physical location and your physical persona. It's all you. It's all your choice. If you want to be a troll, you go and be a troll. It's still you. If you want to hide behind something, that's fine. But most people aren't hiding behind these names. These pseudonyms are exactly that. They're a way to label ourselves, to show something of who we are in a particular environment, and to put on a particular face, in this case, this one, and a particular voice, which happens to be the same one, and deliver themselves into a digital realm. Now, stopping that and forcing individuals to only be their government ID name or whatever they want to call it is detrimental to the future of the web. And if you think it's all about whether people are criminals or not, which is what it all kind of gets labelled as. So whether they're con men, a con man will tell you his real name. He will you look you in the eye and then he will steal your money. It's nothing to do with the digital domain. So when they actually want to know everything about you that you haven't necessarily chosen to share with everyone, it's probably because they want to sell you something instead. They want you to choose to part with your money. But the web Digital media is there for us to communicate as humans, not just to be sold stuff. Selling stuff's important. Everyone has to make a living. That's fine. So I want you to think about it. When you look at this and say, did I just see a predator talking? Did I see Ian talking? Did I see somebody pretending to be Ian or pretending to be a predator talking? And by the way, am I actually watching them? Because they're not live. It's a recording. Anything could have happened to it on the way down. So does it matter whether their government ID has been provided at the start to say who made the recording in the first place? Important point. There are times when you do need to know who somebody is, but it's not all the time. And we need the ability to choose. I've chosen to show who I am to everyone, but I reserve the right for me to not do that and for everyone to have that option to choose different personas and experiment out there on the web. Very important. You're listening, Google. Thank you.